we have to get out and actually drag the canoe. All right, so the good news, the bad news is not as many critters. Um, bad news is not as many critters, but the good news is we shouldn't have any issue paddling through chat more about pythons um, at any time because they're very fascinating but they're very important that we have them here in the Everglades. Um, so keep your eyes out for pythons. We have all kinds of snakes here. We have about 12 different species of snakes, a uh, few of which are venomous. You know, we have um, the rattlesnake, which fortunately will rattle at you. They don't like the water, so you're not going to find them in here. We have pygmy rattlesnakes, which you can find in the campgrounds. They, they rattle. Uh, they're very quiet when they rattle. Go to the Pyland area, you go back. 
back north towards the Inhinga Trail and the Ernest Depco Visitor Center, that island in Pineland used to stretch all the way to Miami. And that little piece is all that's left. Like natural kind of habitat. They're not really going to harm you much, but once again, they can definitely flip you. So you don't want to get close, you don't want them to get underneath you because they bump your craft, they can flip you. And next thing you know, you're in the water of the crocodile or an alligator. Crocodiles and alligators are not going to eat you whole. They eat small prey whole, like birds and turtles if they're big enough. That's the prey they eat whole. When you hear about a crocodile or an alligator eating something larger, like a deer, what they do is they drown their victim, okay? So they're not going to eat you alive, all right, like you might see in movies. But a crocodile alligator can easily grab your arm or your leg and then drown you first. And then it tucks you away from somewhere to eat you piece by piece. I want you guys to come this direction more. 